Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be learning about an important concept that any non-zero number raised to power zero is always equal to one. In physics, we many times encounter such situations. For example, suppose somewhere we find two to power zero, its answer will be actually one. The proof is pretty simple. Suppose we write 2 to power 1 by 2 to power 1 then what will be the answer in the RHS everyone knows it will be equal to 1 this data in the denominator can be taken to the numerator then what I should write 2 to power 1 minus 1 and in RHS there is 1 here in LHS we are left with what 2 to power 0 so 2 to power 0 is actually equal to 1 now this is true for any non-zero number for example somewhere is written 5 to power 0 answer will be again 1 okay if you find e to power 0 answer will be 1 I hope you remember that e is equal to 2.7183 and so on okay 10,000 to power 0 answer will be 1 now this thing can be generalized suppose somewhere we find x to power n mathematically it means that x is multiplied n times with 1 I'll repeat it x to power n actually means x is multiplied n times with 1 for example, you find 2 cube. What does it mean? The 2 is multiplied 3 times 2 into 2 into 2 with 1. That's the meaning of 2 cube. So your answer will be equal to 8. Got it? Suppose somewhere there is 2 to power 4. What does it mean? 2 is multiplied 4 times with 1. 1 answer will be 16 okay now if I ask you again 2 to power 0 what does it mean the 2 is multiplied 0 times with 1 multiplying 0 times means what you are not multiplying anything with 1 got it so the answer will come out to be 1 few students have misconception about these computation they think that 2 cube means 2 is multiplied 3 times with 2 this is actually wrong 2 cube actually means 2 is multiplied 3 times with 1 got it do not have that misconception so this was an interesting information i hope you get everything you may note it down then we'll see you again